You want to pick a year? Go to the Daily Aztec. How about 1959? The Chevrolet was a handsome car, and the ugly man on campus was Larry Harper. Won a contest. Turn the page, and do you know every student was listed in the paper? Address, too, and phone number. San Diego State's enrollment had skyrocketed to 9033 and your student fee was $8.00 of which a whopping 30% went to athletics, which they needed, considering that in that year it was headline news, a ball exploded. No, this was halfback Bobby Ball, who led the Aztecs to their first football victory since mid-season of 1957. Biggest news on campus? Here you go. The big red dormitories had arrived, finally open for occupancy. Inside, they were pretty bare and spare, but they were considered among the finest in the country. And a new addition to the library. Back then, who would have thought that in little more than a decade, they'd have to move out to a whole new building once again? How'd you like to make $25 or get a free transistor radio? They were come-ons to get you to try cigarettes, like Pall Malls. No messy filters, you know. You could light either end. Miss Slick Chick was named to represent the egg industry, if not political correctness on campus. Recognize these guys. The Kingston Trio was coming to town. Get your tickets at Lloyd's Music City, or you could go see the movie House on Haunted Hill. Very scary. Men went to the college barber shop where flat tops were the specialty. Women on campus took advice from Mrs. Mary Bell Bigelow, assistant professor of art, who said, watch how you dress now. School is a business, not a cocktail party. A designer of gentlemen's clothing urged the males on campus, be a man for heaven's sake. You got to fight against the feminization of manhood and the insidious softening of togetherness. You've got to buy our pants. In a simpler time, that was San Diego State. Very structured, yes, but in its own way, kind of sweet, don't you think? Back then, nobody knew how much the campus would change and the world with it.